Alright, here we go. We're warmed up a bit now. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not warmed up. Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today I'll be checking out a game called Jack Be Nimble. Shout out to Noonan Design for sending me a copy of this game. I've only played it a little tiny bit. So as you can see here, it's definitely inspired by Game Boy style graphics. And the whole point of the game is to jump through these levels and bust up the candlesticks. Uh, so we have two levels unlocked, but let's play level one and try to get a little warmed up here. So I have a high score of 387,000. Let's see if I can beat my high score. We've also unlocked a new character, Jack-O-Lantern guy here. Jack-O-Lantern actually is his name. I love these graphics, very cool. The music's great. Uh, but let's start with Jack Be Nimble. Maybe we'll be Jack-O-Lantern here in a little bit. All right, we've unlocked new styles. The black and white style, and this kind of eerie blue and orange style. Let's go with the Game Boy style to start things out. So the control in this game is really simple. You uh, push a button to jump, and then you push that same button to attack with your whip. And as you go, you'll start going faster and faster. The top right shows you how many candlesticks you've hit percentage-wise. I believe that's what that is. And it looks like we have a three times three multiplier. Every time you hit one, your multiplier goes up. So obviously you want to hit as many as possible. And the game gets going faster and faster. And it definitely gets really challenging. I don't know if we'll beat the high score. It took me a few tries to get the high score. Sadly, I wasn't recording when I did that. And see, we've already died. Okay, so you get the idea of the game. Now let's see if I can beat my high score and we'll move on to another level. All right, here we go. We're warmed up a bit now. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not warmed up. We got an achievement though. Sometimes it's tricky to know if I should go for the candles or go for the quick jumps. So far, we're doing pretty good, though. And once you start going really fast, there's actually grass sections where you can slow yourself down. And I believe fire sections, I've, I don't know if I've even seen them, where you can actually make yourself go faster. See, we went through some grass. Now we're going at a more manageable speed again. We missed one candle, that's okay. The farther we make it, and the more candles we get, the better. So far, so good. There we go, we slowed ourselves down again a little bit. Sometimes these jumps just get so quick that it's really hard to keep up with them. So far, so good. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, we're starting to pick up speed again. Definitely going pretty fast now. The longer you hold and jump, the higher you jump, kind of like, you know, most platformers. The tricky part here is it is an endless runner, so you can't choose which direction you want to go. You can't really slow down unless you hit that grass. We missed it last time, so we're going pretty fast now. Right now I'm going to concentrate more on uh, not falling to my death than hitting the candles until we can slow down again. There we go. I don't know if that was a good strategy or not. We'll see. We're still going pretty dang fast. There's some more grass. That's exactly what we needed. That was a high jump, but we made it. This might be the farthest I've made it, but I haven't hit that many candles. My dog's chewing a plastic bottle behind me, my puppy, so you might hear that for a second. Oh man. Woo! Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. We gotta update or something. Optimize your PC. Thanks for that. However, with my dog chewing the water bottle, with the computer update and everything else, we have a new best score of 481,000. Cool, we unlocked. Bitter Bluffs, Jack Frost. I don't know if that's two things or one thing. Let's find out. So there, okay, so one of them was a new level. Bitter Bluffs. All right, here we go. So let's try a second level. And let's try out this new character, Jack Frost. <laughs> He's just a bouncy little snowman. Uh, we got two new themes. But the snowy one might look good for Jack Frost. This looks kind of snowy-ish. Let's go with that. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. So he just punches with his arm, not a whip. <laughs> his arm just kind of extends out. I like this song. This definitely is pretty cool. So the different themes have different music, it seems. <laughs> and I rhyme. And I don't mean to, but I rhymed. I'm just uh, talented like that, I guess, today. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can kick the crap out of this level. I don't know if the levels get harder, or if they're just always random and they're all kind of similar. Haven't played the game enough to figure that out. Well, there's definitely some foreground elements. So I went through uh, some fire there, 
and now we're going faster. I just wanted to try that out, and you really get going fast. Definitely a mistake. <laughs> Alright, I feel like we're off to a better start this time around. We got eight candles already. Gotta be careful that fire is really gonna screw us up if we don't jump over it. It just gets us going way too fast to really function. There we go. Okay, some tricky jumps there, but we got it. Come on, snowman. Let's bounce to victory. Now there's gonna be a fire coming up. That's okay. Happens to the worst of us. Uh, okay, there's another candle. Yes, grass. That slowed us down only a little, though. We're going pretty fast still. Come on, snowman. We can do this. Just gotta believe in ourselves. <laughs> there we go. Slowed down a little bit. Still fast, though. We haven't hit any candlesticks in a bit, and we didn't jump far enough. New best score, though. 165,000. Nice. Very nice. Let's try this other stage, Bitter Bluffs. And let's try out Jack O' Lantern. And let's try out this theme, see what it's all like. Okay, it goes good with the Jack O' Lantern because it gives them kind of an orange face. This music's pretty peaceful. It's kind of snowy. It doesn't seem like we're sliding or anything. Of course, it's hard to tell since all we can do is jump and whip. I like this character though, all the characters so far. It actually seems a little easier than the last level, so far. I'm not seeing any fires, which is nice. That snow slowed us down, that helps. We're going pretty slow now. Knock out the candle. Okay, that's cool, that gave us an extra little boost there. But all the levels seem to offer something a little different. There we go, 13. I would like to get to around 20 or so. Oh wow, okay, it's definitely getting trickier. 15, there's 16. And... Lots of snow. 18. Okay, we're going really slow now. I don't know if that's going to help us. If at one point going really slow will make it harder or not, but definitely... Oh, I thought we could just fall onto that one. 191,000, that's not too bad. Okay, I think we, had, we got a good run going finally. We're up to times 18. I think if we get up to times 20 or 30, we have a shot at maybe getting the high score. Now we're getting a little bit fast here again. So unless we have an easy candlestick, I'm probably going to go for just trying to make the jumps more than getting the candlesticks. All right. New best score. Sweet, we got it. All right, we need a million points to unlock this one. So let's try to get it. We'll go back to level one and we'll play as... Jack again. Let's see if we can unlock the next area. Let's go with black and white. Alright, we got a great run going here. We're up to times 19. We got a good speed. We're not going too fast. 100% of the candlesticks so far. I think we got a pretty good... Oops. <laughs> Why do I talk out loud? I think we have a pretty good chance of getting the high score or at least unlocking the next level. I feel like we're definitely sitting pretty good right now. 24 times. Let's try to get up to 30. And I'm going to take grass over candlesticks right now. Try to slow down as much as we can. We're going pretty fast now, but still manageable. Alright, Jack. Another candlestick. Two more to 30. That'd be nice. We're going to take the grass. And we lost it. Dang it! New best score, 556,000. We have 919,000, so it goes by the top scores of all the other levels. Okay, so go back to Game Boy style. All right, so about 25, 30 minutes into the game, and I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this. It's a lot of fun. It's a very basic concept, but it actually does require skill. You think it'd be pretty easy only having one button to push, but it's actually quite tricky. I definitely love the retro feel to it. Game Boy style graphics, the music, everything about it. It's really fun. I definitely high, highly recommend this game. If you have a few bucks to spare and you like retro stuff, I think you'll enjoy this for sure. All right, we have a pretty good run going here. I feel like if we can get the high score on this one, that uh, we might unlock the next level. We're going way too fast now though. There we go, it's a little better. There we go, it's just hard when it gets going this fast to do much of anything. Okay, we're done for. <laughs> as soon as we hit that fire, 
Another new best score. Cool. And we unlocked Rocky Rapids and Jill Nimble. Awesome. So we'll wrap up the episode trying out the new character in new area. All right, let's try out the new level. Let's try out Jill Nimble. Uh, so I don't notice any difference in the way the characters play or feel. They just kind of look different. But it's still fun to unlock new stuff. This, this definitely looks cool. I like the water theme and the lighthouse in the background spinning. Really cool pixel animations. Another song too. So far all the songs have been really fun. <laughs> but we smashed our face into a box. Alright, that's going to wrap up our look at Jack B. Nimble. This game is available on the Steam Store for Mac and PC. It's also in the Apple Store as well if you want to pick it up on a mobile device or something like that. Let me know what you think of Jack B. Nimble in the comments below. Check the description for links of where you can pick up the game. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.